What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning, hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on the VGX token or the Voyager token. Um, we're doing a full update on that. So we'll talk about the fundamentals and then we'll talk about the technicals. We'll talk about what you can expect in terms of the price of VGX. Um, all of that, but we'll start with the fundamentals. You need to know about that. We'll quickly cover that. I, I won't talk about that too long, but I'll give you my thoughts on it. Uh, and my thoughts on what that means for the price and, and about VGX in general. So the big big news, obviously, and before we get into this, I do want to say that if you want to receive daily trading signals, check out the link in either the pinned comment or the description. There you'll find trade results, but also on how to join and kind of what the whole deal is. Um, but all right, this is the big news. Binance US can move ahead with plan to acquire Voyager Digital's assets. Um, the bankruptcy judge in the Voyager digital case chose to allow the deal with Binance US over objections from the SEC and state regulators. So, all right. First of all, this is very bullish for crypto. It shows that the SEC can be stopped in some cases, which I think is a very bullish thing. Um, the market right now has other things to worry about, and that's why it's not reacting too much to it. Um, but, um, but all right, I think it's a bullish thing. But apart from that, it's also very bullish for Voyager. If that really means it's bullish for VGX as well, I am not too sure about that. All right, VGX, in my eyes, there's there's no way we can surely know that VGX still has a place in uh, in in the whole new Voyager digital if it actually if if actually assets are bought, uh, and it's unlikely. All right, so this is more speculation. I have to be honest about that. It's probably more of speculation. Um, However, that doesn't mean uh, that, that you cannot profit off of that. It does mean that you should be careful, all right? Because usually, I mean, they're, they're going to buy their assets. They're probably not going to add any value to VGX anymore. But this is very bullish. This is the news. So you can also see that we're very bullish after that news. And VGX as a token itself, um, having analyzed it quite a bit, is very difficult to analyze. It's very volatile. It can have spikes like this and then instantly drop back down again. It has a lot of spikes, to be honest, as you can see. Uh, so it's hard to analyze, but I'll, I'll give it my best shot. All right. So right now, if we take a look at the uh, technical environment, what you can see is that we just had a major bullish breakout above 50 cents, or at least I'm assuming that we will break above that. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but the big thing right now is, and you need to take a look at the one hour time frame, because if you take a look at the four hour time frame, price is moving too fast. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But on the, on the one hour time frame, the big thing we need to do, and the big thing that we're trying to do right now, is breaking above 55 cents. That's the big thing. We're at that resistance level right now. You can see it's a very strong resistance level historically, but also has a strong FIP uh, trend line, for example, there. Uh, so the big thing is, is can we actually break above that? If we break above that on the one hour time frame, I think we're going to rally at least up to 60, 62 cents. But I think we got a great chance of uh, uh, spiking all the way up to 70 cents. All right. So this is kind of what we're aiming for with VGX. Is this necessarily going to happen? No, we need to break above 55 cents. If we cannot break above 55 cents in the next two candles, what's going to happen is that we're just going to fall down because then the momentum is probably gone. And then we're going to fall down to uh, 42 cents, uh, find support there, but probably afterwards also down to that 35, 36 cents area. Uh, so, it, I mean, technically, I mean, fundamentally, we definitely do have the momentum to push on through and to get even higher but we need technical confirmation first. And if we don't, then this was it. In the end, we have already rallied quite a bit. Uh, so that's my take on VGX and Voyager for now. If you do have any questions, then let me know. But for now, take care and bye.